So, good afternoon. I am here with Maimuna Ramadan from Kibera Primary School, and she's going to tell us more about herself. Mm -hmm. Hello, Maimuna. Please introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Maimuna Ramadan, teacher by profession. Mm. Okay, luckily, okay, let me just say, fortunately or unfortunately, I'm living just around the Kibera slum. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how long have you lived in Kibera slum? I've lived there for about 15 years mm. since I was employed. Since you employed. Yeah. So, you've been teaching for 15 years? Yes, I've been teaching for f about 15 years now. So, what subjects do you personalize in? Okay, I teach maths. Social studies, Kiswahili, and religion. Religion. And religion. Mm -hmm. What? How many? Uh, what number of students do you have at the school? We have got about two thousand five hundred pupils, mm -hmm. and we have, it is a four-stream school. Mm -hmm. Okay, a class has about eight, eight and above pupils. Eight and above pupils. Yeah. How many students do you have sitting for the KCPE this year? We have got two hundred and twenty-four mm -hmm. pupils sitting for KCPE. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the greatest challenges at uh, the school? Okay, the greatest challenges mm -hmm. when it comes to to okay to to the side of education, we have got we have got many children and fewer teachers. Mm -hmm. So, like the TSC teachers are about twenty one, mm -hmm. and then the okay we have got about nine employed by the board. Mm -hmm. So, due to the large number, there is the the, the workload is too much for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, on the other side, we have got the problem of the the sanitation. Mm -hmm. There is no water in the school in the school, so the use of the toilets becomes a big problem to the invite to the invite to the community. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you could do one thing that uh, you feel would change the life of students at Kibera, mm -hmm. what would it be? In fact, water. Mm -hmm. If we get enough water, the water will really assist. Mm. will really assist the people, the pupils and the community living around mm. because they, the community also do not have enough water mm. and they don't have toilets. Mm. So at times you have the flying toilets thrown to us. To mm. In fact, the neighboring community, they don't have toilets. They, throw, you have, you know, they normally throw the, they throw the flying toilets to the school. Mm. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Maimuna. Mm. It has been good talking to you. Okay.